Hello children how are you all welcome to Ablon Public School at home I Shivani welcome you all once again so children in last class we learned about oceans and that oceans are the major parts of hydrosphere so how many oceans are there yes five okay so i told you about all the oceans and today we will learn about the third part of major domains of the earth that is atmosphere and biosphere okay children before start this topic i'll tell you about that exercise is very good for our healthy body so we all should do exercise every day not for you all means students we all should like our parents grandparents it is beneficial for everyone that just take out 15 minutes from your busy routine every day for yourself it's very good for our health it keeps our muscles and bones strong and healthy so it's very good habit we all should adopt that do exercise regularly okay children now let's come on our topic so today's topic is atmosphere and biosphere okay children So what is atmosphere so the earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere we all are surrounded by airs it is a type of blanket so this thin blanket of air is an integral and important aspect of the planet and it provides us with air we breathe and protects us from the harmful effects of sun's rays that's why it is called blanket okay children so now i'll tell you about the features of the atmosphere so this thin blanket of air is very important for our planet why so the atmosphere extends up to a height of above 1600 kilometers and the atmosphere is divided into five layers based on the composition temperature and other properties okay children so these layers starting from earth surface so it it is very important for us because it provide us the air we breathe and protects us from the harmful rays of the sun it extend up to height of about 1600 km and it has it is divided into five layers based on composition temperature and other properties so the five layers are that starting from the earth surface the troposphere the stratosphere the mesosphere the thermosphere and the exosphere okay so these are layers of the atmosphere so the atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen which make up about 99% of clean dry air nitrogen 78% abundance so oxygen 21% and other gases like carbon dioxide organ and others comprise 1% by volume okay so composition of the atmosphere the atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen and oxygen together make up about 99% of clean dry air nitrogen is present 78% oxygen 21% and in 1% rest gases are there so if we will make a mixture of all so look the diagram 
21 ml oxygen in orange color 78 ml nitrogen in green color and one rest gases of 1 ml in upside blue color so it totally become 100 ml gases of the atmosphere okay so oxygen is the breath of life while nitrogen help us in the growth of living organism carbon dioxide through present in minute amount is important as it absorbs heat radiated by the earth thereby keeping the planet warm so it is also very essential for the growth of plants so the density of the atmosphere varies with height it it is maximum at the sea level it is maximum at the sea level and decreases as rapidly as we overcome go upside so you know the climbers experience problem in breathing due to this decrease in the density of air so you heard that when the mount climbers mountaineers move to mountains they pick up oxygen cylinder with them because of the density of the air decreases upside so they have problem in breathing they have to carry with them oxygen cylinders to be able to breathe at high altitudes the temperature also decreases as we go upwards okay children so the atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth this varies from place to place some areas experience high pressure and some areas low pressure and air moves from high pressure to low pressure moving air is known as wind next i will tell you about biosphere so biosphere is the domain of life where the biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between the land water and air means first i told you about lithosphere means land then hydrosphere means water and then atmosphere means air and what is the biosphere so biosphere is the means you can say where all these thing we domains meet together where all these domains meet and make a sphere that's known as biosphere so it is in this zone that life that is unique to this planet exist there are several species of organism that vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals so all the living organism including humans are linked to each other and do the biosphere for survival so you can mean lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere when meet to each other then form a life nest place a sphere that's known as biosphere so the organism in the biosphere may broadly be divided into plant kingdom and the animal kingdom the three domains of the earth interact with each other and affect each other in some way or the other for example i'm telling you cutting of forest for fulfilling our needs of wood or clearing land for agriculture may lead to fast removal of soil from slopes and similarly earth surface may be changed due to natural calamities like earthquakes so there could be submergence of land as happened in the case of tsunami recently so parts of andaman and nicobar islands were submerged under water and discharge of waste material into lakes and rivers makes the water unsuitable for human it is it also damages other forms of life so these all are related to human beings okay children so let's revise what is the biosphere so it is a narrow zone of contact between land water and air life exists in the biosphere this is only found on earth that is why our earth called unique planet so there are many different types of sizes of organisms on earth from teeny microbes to huge mammals like blue whale 
all living organism including humans can survive here so it is third part of chapter 5 okay children of geography now complete all the question answers related to this concept thank you have a great day